Hi, you cool cats and kittens. It's me, Maggie. With Angst TV Reviews, we're going to talk about Peacock's original, Joe vs. Carol. You like my tracksuit? I wanted to go with a theme party. Tigers and toques. Anyways, Joe vs. Carol on Peacock. If you were living on a rock in March 2020, which, I mean, we were all looking for a rock to hide under because of COVID, the documentary that took us by storm in March 2020 was Tiger King. This was the documentary that burst on the scene on Netflix. Man, spoken, good looking, love to party and have fun. I don't think we're done blowing shit up today. I don't think you are. <laughs> It was amazing. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it because their tagline is murder, mayhem, and madness. And it delivered. And so in turn, Kate McKinnon from SNL has decided to make her own scripted limited series called Joe vs. Carol. Welcome to the best exotic animal show in these United States. This is who we've been after. Documented animal abuser, Joe Exotic. We're coming for you. So it seems like the trend right now is making documentary or real life events into scripted limited series shows. Examples, Pam and Tommy, Dropout, Inventing Anna. Are these all necessary? Or can I just watch this on 2020 or Dateline? So if you've seen Tiger King on Netflix, you definitely have seen Joe vs. Carol. Is there anything explosive that you didn't learn? Not necessarily, but it's more that it's scripted and you see it from the actor's point of view, the character's point of view, rather than being just told the facts. You're watching the facts unfold on screen. And I just want to stress this about Joe vs. Carol. I feel like when the documentary did come out, everyone was very pro Joe exotic. Joe, Joe, Joe. She got the most crap handed to her. Like her name was dragged through the mud. If anyone said it like the name Carol, you thought of her immediately. She got so much flack, there's even a song about Carol Baskin killing her husband. Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. While he, he became glorified martyr because he went to jail for literally putting a hit on her. I was in the bandwagon of Carol and I feel like not enough people were on her side because people kept thinking she murdered her husband. It's all allegedly, we don't have any proof. I know that's a terrible thing to have on anyone, but I also feel like she actually cared about the big cats. She cared about the animals. Joe versus Carol is from the sympathetic eye for Carol Baskin. Because of that, you also get to see how she met Howard. And I just, you know when you just ship couples? <laughs> They're just so cute. This is her third husband, I know, but you know, third time's a charm and they're really cute. And in this scripted limited series, it might not be real, but you actually do see how much Carol and Howard love each other. And they're a team. What kind of firearms are you looking for? Something that will stop a hitman in his tracks. The things I liked about Joe versus Carol, the casting is on point. Joe Exotic. He is played by John Cameron Mitchell of Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Also currently on Hulu, Shrill. Carol Baskin's played by Kate McKinnon, who you know from Saturday Night Live and also The Spy Who Dumped Me. I think that John Cameron Mitchell and Kate McKinnon did a great job trying to portray both Joe and Carol. You actually do believe that they are trying to be these people. Sometimes I have a hard time with comedian actors. I only can see them being a joke. Not them being a joke, but telling a joke. Kate McKinnon actually does embody a good dramatic actress and tries really hard to embody Carol during the entire show. She is consistent and I'm sympathetic towards her character. John Cameron Mitchell nailed it as Joe Exotic. I had no qualms when he got cast. He delivered 100% and was outlandish and crazy as the real Joe Exotic is in real life. And they do have that little eye ring that is barely hanging on and it was amazing. Along with Joe and Carol, the casting is incredible for this show. They did it on point. Howard Baskin, Carol's husband. Kyle McLaughlin, he is amazing. I loved him from Portlandia as the mayor. He was Trey on Sex and the City. The captain from How I Met Your Mother. He is amazing. As we know, Joe Exotic had two husbands, Travis Maldonado and then John Finley. We all remember John 
The casting for him seemed kind of weird because he's played by Irish actor Sam Keeley, who in real life is real attractive. Real steamy. <laughs> so I didn't really think he was casted correctly, but by the end, yeah, he was John Finley. He embodied him. And also, his southern accent was real good. The other husband, Travis Maldonado, was played by Nat Wolf, who I always get him confused with his brother, because they literally look the same. Anyways, he did a great job. In the documentary, they do talk about him, but in Joe vs. Carol, you actually get to see the reason and the madness of drugs, being alone in the world, how tempting Joe Exotic was. Even though both his husbands claim to be straight men, you can see why they're kept men. Someone's gotta kill that bitch. Shit! The one thing that was great about this scripted limited series versus the documentary, Joe is always in Victimville, and that is who he is. Something about the documentary didn't show is that they kind of glorified him. All this shows the real hubris of he has his own enemy. Because even in the end, he says that he's not guilty of hiring a hitman against Carol. He says that he didn't kill his tigers. There is evidence that he killed his tigers, and the hitman who he gave money to even said that he was told to kill Carol Baskin. You are your worst enemy, Joe Exotic, and now you're in jail for 22 years. I got a job for you. Don't let me be Overall, it is a very long series. It is eight episodes, hour long episodes. If you've already seen the documentary and you feel like that's enough, I can see why you would not want to watch this. But it actually was a lot of fun. It is not a comedy. I want to emphasize that because I kind of jumped in thinking maybe it was going to be like a dark comedy because Joe's kind of a joke. He's kind of ridiculous. And Carol is a little bit too, let's be honest. But it was a good drama. It is an interesting story about real life events that they were able to stitch together to make an interesting story. And it's crazy that this is real life. It is crazy this has happened in our lifetime in the last 10 years that this craziness, like crazy cat people going after each other. Like that is insanity. Like who would have thought that? That's not like an NBC TV show. This is real life. It is nuts. And so to watch it was entertaining, it was fun. I recommend watching Joe vs. Carol. Carol Baskin, you see me now! Oh, no. I always thought cat people were a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maggie. Please remember to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and ring the bell. We'd love to hear from you and leave comments below.